Hey all, I'm, I'm back with the other uh, use case. So here we are. So in the previous video, we have we could have seen how to uh, how to fetch data from the Excel data, and in this video, we are exporting the data from case to the Excel file. So here also we we will be using one OTB activity which is called as PX Generate Excel file. In the previous version, there is uh, something called as MSO Generate Excel file. From 8 version, we are going to use this PX Generate Excel file because MSO Generate Excel file is being deprecated. So how to use this at PX Generate Excel file? So before uh, going to uh, talk about this OTB activity, so we need few things in our application. One is a data type which is having all our properties which we want to store it in Excel sheet and, uh, and a page list property which refers the Excel sheet, uh, sorry, which refers the data type and a case type where we will be comparing a section in that section we will be configuring this page list property and our button which is used for downloading. So on this particular download button we were going to call this OTP activity which is PX generate Excel file. But to download, uh, to export the data into the Excel file, we need a binary file so that we need, we need the template, right? How, how, in which column, what data have to be stored. So for that, we need one Excel file, which we will be adding into our binary file. Okay. So for that, I have created one template file. <coughs> So the template file is employee temp here. So uh, if you have seen this, it was similar to the PX in the PX parse Excel file, whatever you have uh, used, it is similar, but only one thing is missing here, input. Input keyword is missing because we are not using this as an input. Instead, we are sending this uh, to the external uh, external system or it is into, the, into our local system. So if you see the second row, it is similar to that. Instead of PX results, I am using the pyworkpage.employee info because my data is available under pyworkpage. So if you see the first uh, record is about header uh, and the second record talks about uh, the data. So in now whenever you download, all the data which is there in your pages property would be uh, saving into one file which you will uh, refer in your application. right? so let's let's go on so this excel sheet we have to this particular template file we have to add into the binary file so let's create one binary file so second one now. so we got one uh, we have uh, no so we have uh, one ex template excel file in our system that we will be adding into our big application so go to binary file so i already added that so in this employee template so open it create a binary file I used WebWB as uh, my app directory. So if you click on upload file, then in the upload file, you have to use, click on upload file, choose file, and this choose file, you will have something called as employee temp, use it, open, and upload here. Save it. So now we have to use this as our reference so that whatever the data which is there in your page list property will be exported into the uh, a, as an excel file in your app in your uh, system so our binary file is also created so what we need we need one data type so let's go to the data type and have already have one data type which is employee so i'll be using the same employee data type so i have employee id employee name and employee salary so i'll be using this so uh, we created one uh, case type which is called as fetch employee so in that fetch employee I'm going to call <coughs> a page list property. So in this page list property, uh, if you see over here, there is a page list property. Employee info, which is um, which is referencing the employee, right? So this property I'll be using in that step. So that would be my section. So let's open our section. collect employee data so this is my section now here 
in my section I'll be calling that pages property uh, here so employee info in my pages property and then we'll have a download button so let's click on this download button so here we'll go to the uh, we'll be changing the text to download instead of button and once you click on this download a file has to be downloaded into our system so how do you do that you'll go to the action and on click is your event and in the action we are going to do the refresh this section and call that px generate excel file either you can directly use px generate excel file or you create your own uh, your own uh, activity and do the and call this px generate excel file in your uh, activity so here i'm not doing extra things just i'm having the values in my employee info and um, up downloading into the uh, downloading into that into my system so i'm directly using px generate excel file which is otb activity which is having four parameters one it is talking about file name so whenever you download it it should have some name so you are giving that name here employee.xlsx so when you download the file which you are uh, going to i mean the data which you want to copy or you want to export into the excel sheet will have this name okay so employee name will be there okay so with this with with this template one file will be created with the name emp.exls so that is the name and then uh, you know the template fb is there so template fb which we already uh, this is a binary file which we have already uh, used rfb so that binary file you have to provide here so there is no slash here there is no dot instead you have to use exclamatory marks so fwb exclamatory employee temp which is binary file name uh, your binary rule binary file rule name and exclamatory xlsx and then download file yes you want to download the file yes it is a uh, checkbox option so it's a boolean so you have to give true option so if you want to delete after downloading you can make it as true so i'm leaving it as empty so i do not want to i do not want to delete it so these are the four parameters which we use under px generate excel file so submit so that's it so we are done with the uh, we are done with the all configurations so let's create a case and check So this is my first stage. In the second stage, I have this data. So let's add data. Some data I'll be providing here. So employee ID. Maybe we'll be stopping till three uh, records and then we'll just uh, download this. So once you download, the file will be downloaded in your application. It's up to you where do you want to download in your X system. So I'm downloading into my desktop. So just click on that and let's open the file. We have to see those three records in that EMP. If you see that is EMP Excel file. Uh, so you are got you are you, you can see over there all the three records have been stored in your excel sheet so this is how you export your pages property into excel sheet using an otb activity px parts excel file so we were working on uh, excel right excel uh, uh, documents right excel files and later we will be seeing how to uh, download the csv files also so how to do that so we'll be seeing it in the next video thank you